or a crater rim. And to work our way down, we're headed for the Old Abai Gorge. It's out there somewhere. These are all acacia trees. Favorite food of giraffes. It's a nice one. This is a Maasai village. The Maasai and their livestock wandered into this area about 200 years ago. They pushed off the people who were there. But both groups were pastoralists, living almost solely on their livestock, which they revere above anything else. Traditionally, they were nomadic, but today they're more settled. Some of our group visited this village some people lived there, but others were walking from further away. Here's our vehicles parked in their parking lot. Many of the Maasai continue to wear their traditional clothing. And here's some others that are coming down to greet the visitors. While some use modern transportation, Here's their traditional way of moving supplies, I think including water. And you see the way they walk, the front leg and the rear leg of the same side move together. Well, the other animals move zigzag. Here's the entrance into the Olduvai Gorge. Today there's a nice modern museum telling about the discoveries of early man in Africa. Going into the new Old Avai Museum, funded by the EU and the Ngorongoro Conservation Area Authority, which covers about the size of Massachusetts. Really pretty doors. And inside, we have this nice museum. Great Rift Valley is 6,000 kilometers long, formed 30 million years ago. There's volcanoes. It's going to be a few million years to be a new arm of the Red Sea. This is a reproduction of Lucy, and you can see where there's bones and where they've put in pieces of metal to represent the bones they didn't find. So this jawbone is 3.6 million years old. It's a 16-year-old boy found in Kenya, Turkana boy. This young man is 1.6 million years young. Homo sapiens, about 200,000 years ago. This is an artist's rendition of the fossil that the Leakeys found in 1959 near here in the gorge. We'll be going to that site later. There's a group of people in Tanzania uh, called the Hadzu and they live around modern Lake Aasi, sometimes in bands of 20 to 30 people. There's only about a thousand of them, but at least half of them are strict hunter-gatherers. Others engage in agriculture, trade, and wage labor. They were first documented in 1894, and the British tried to get them to settle down and adopt farming in the 20s and 30s. And that was not successful. The Tanzanians tried in 65 and 90, but that's the way they want to live. And that's what they're doing. 
There's a traditional hut. This kid's cracking fruit from a baobab tree. And he's digging tubers with a digging stick and hunting using a traditional bow and spear. Another couple tribes, Datoga and Maasai, arrived and lived in the Ngorongoro area. The Maasai came from Kenya. Part of the Dakoga clan still live in the Ngorongoro conservation area. And they're semi-nomadic pastoralists and live among the few tribes. They remain highly traditional still. Dakoga man in traditional clothes and a woman in her traditional clothing. You've seen Maasai men wearing these shoes. They're made out of tires. And that'll be their only pair of shoes as an adult. They'll wear them just about forever. They just don't wear out. With the Archaeological Museum at the Olduvai Gorge, and this is a view from their lecture room. road going down into the gorge. It leaves a lot to be desired. Well, the road here is much better. We're headed to the site of where they found the first hominid in this area. At the site of where Mary Leakey, in 1959, found the skull of Australopithecus boisei. As they say, it, every June, July, and August, excavation is going on. Mm -hmm. And this is just one of uh, many sites where they excavate to get the remaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still going on. Everything they see, it is a stone or it's a bone, something look like that. You know, they will concentrate on that and in that particular area, they will dig carefully to make sure that if it is an animal, the whole entire skeleton was, you know, recovered. Yeah, was covered, then they will try to uh, get it the way it is. Now we have arrived at the site where the leakies live. I don't know, permanently or seasonally for many years while they were doing their excavations in the area. This is the Land Rover used by the Leakeys when they did their excavations here in the 60s. Here's where the Leakeys stayed when they were at Old Avai Gorge. Here's the interior. I would consider it to be rather spartan. This is Mary Leakey's lab, and the government of Tanzania has been refurbishing the site so that more tourists will come see where the Leakey's stayed. One member of our group asked if we could come visit the camp, and our tour director had never been here, so this was new for him, and we were the only tourists there. This is inside the lab, and it shows some of the excavation things that would have been there in the 60s. And here's the uh, kitchen. It was what you would find at a campsite. Pretty minimal, but hey, it worked. Okay. We've just yeah, left second, the Old Divide Gorge Museum. A couple of giraffes oh, here. Yeah, they're really pretty. pretty. 